Hey guys, Ed here. In this video, <coughs> I'll show you how to remove your radio in a Jeep Compass. So, first thing we're gonna do, get in the car. <coughs> Sorry. Um, get. We need. To, what we have to do? The radio is right here. We, what we have to do? We get have to take the panel off. It's way easier than it looks like. So what we have to do? We have to take a butter knife like this. Well, or you can use a plastic, uh, of course, tools. But this is what what I have right now. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm going to put a knife in here, in between, and gently just make a little gap so you can get your fingers. In, okay. Put the knife back in and pull. There are actually clips. Opa, easy. There are clips that holding the this plastic piece down so what we have to do we have to remove four screws there's one here one here and same thing on the opposite side so total four screws so let's get them out uh, what we have to do we have to get the flathead screwdriver oh i'm sorry the phillips this one is a phillips yeah and now we can get four screws out so let's do that all right so once we have the four screws out we can just take our radio and pull it out <coughs> like this okay over here on the other side we have uh, two connect or one connector and the antenna and something else well, I'm not sure what that is and uh, we have to remove those connectors okay so how to remove a connector it's simple just press the press here the middle piece uh, same here okay press middle piece and pull it out like this and same thing with these two so do that okay so once we have the radio out uh, if you want to buy what i would suggest just buy the used one just uh, buy it on ebay or junkyard you just have to get pretty much same yes you have to get the same uh, part number okay it also happened that i used to buy uh, different part numbers but uh, just made sure the connectors are fine uh, it's the same and the uh, radios actually worked okay so this is not like super uh, super um, oh this uh, actually the other wires for serious radio so it's not super important to have the part number but again uh, it might come it might not work so uh, it's, it's best to buy for example if you buy used radio it comes in you check it out if it works if not you just mail it back okay so this this is how it looks okay now when you have the new radio in same way plug in the connector antenna and the Sirius XM and slide the radio back in okay once we have the radio in we just have to put four screws back in and once you have four screws back in you just click in the panel just click it back in okay like this just snap on it and it's gonna snap in very simple so guys if this video helps please press thumbs up and have a great day bye